Hello and welcome back to another MATLAB tutorial on learning vibes. Today we are going to talk about two essential MATLAB functions come sum and come prod. They are the tools that can help you solve real world problems like analyzing profit, modeling growth and understanding signals. By end of the video, you will not only know how to use these functions, but you will also understand how to apply them to the practical scenarios. So without wasting time, let's get started. So first of all, we'll start with the come sum. Come sum stands for cumulative sum, or you can call it as cum sum. It takes an array of numbers and add them up progressively. Think of it as a running total tracker. Now let's understand this with simple example. Imagine you are taking daily profits from a business and this is the profit that you take every day on day 1, day 2, day 3, day 4 and day 5. So it's an error of daily profit. Now if we want to check the profit at the end of the day 1, then day 2, then day 3, then we are going to use this come this com sum function. So now let's implement this. So we are creating a variable called cumulative profit and the come sum into the bracket profits. So this is our array. And now let's run. So now here you can see how much profit you have made cumulatively over the time. This is especially very much useful for tracking your progress month to month over the years or year to year. So this is just a simple example of using this cumulative addition. Now let's have a different example. Let's calculate cumulative distance traveled using velocity data. Just imagine that you are driving a car and recording your speed every second. And from that you want to find out the distance. So this is the velocity variable for our car that is in meter per second. And this is the timestamp. So on first second our speed is 10 meter per second. Then on next is 12, 15 and 14 like this. Now we want to check how much distance we have traveled at the end of the first second, then second, then third and then fourth. So for that we will write, so the distance is equal to velocity into time. So the multiplication of these two will be utilized to do come sum. And now let's run this section. And there we go. At the end of first second we have traveled 10 meter, then 22, then 37, then 51. So like this you can utilize come sum function. Now it's time for come prod function. Come prod stands for cumulative product. Now here instead of adding it multiplies element progressively and it is very much useful for modeling growth and probabilities. Let's take an example to understand this. Let's say you have invested 1000 rupees or 1000 dollar in a fund. And it grows by some different rate every year. So you can calculate your total investment growth using this function. Now let's say we have growth of 5%, 3% and 4% and we represent it like this. After this we are going to demonstrate what is our initial investment and then finally we are going to utilize the comprod function. So growth rate which is this array. So comprod of this growth rate multiplied by initial investment. And that gives us the growth every year. So now let's run this section. So that's how you can see the amount of growth you can get over the years. So this is how you can utilize come sum and come prod into MATLAB. Now here let me give you a basic difference between come sum and come prod. Come sum basically adds elements progressively, whereas come prod multiplies element progressively. And this is the key difference between these two. So this is the end of this quick short tutorial. If you want to learn more about MATLAB programming, then you can refer to this playlist. So see you into the next video. Bye bye.